My brothers of the sword. I'd rather fight beside you than any army of thousands. Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. It is impossible for you to have been on the internet this week and not know who this chick is. But fortunately for me, there's a quite a number of you who I know in the real world who don't sit on the internet like that. So let's let's play the game. Let's go through the motions. All right. What are we thinking here, boys? Eh? What are we thinking? This is a uh, this this isn't even a really a, a pump and dump as far as quality goes. First and foremost, what's up with this dress? That 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 dress, that Snow White esque dress motif. There's something really strange going on around here, and I've said it on more than one occasion, ladies. When you get tattoos, you look like you have drug problems. Okay, it doesn't make you look badass. It makes you look like yeah, you you have an issue with not like you know anything soft like pot, but like you know heroin and meth and like you know the hard shit like <laughs> like y'all go through it. So uh, yeah, but either ways, you know, let's be let's be real about it, boys. You drunk at the bar, and you know you you you, you try you you just want something to, to take down right quick. You could have done worse. I'll put it to you like that. But I actually don't think you could have done worse than this individual. I haven't pressed play yet. Let's get it. And shout out to memeology. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Oh my god, guys! I'm freaking out. Uh huh. What are you gonna do? Oh no. <laughs> Just kidding, I already scheduled the appointment. <laughs> oh. I am what Oh, oh what a twist, huh? I don't think that this chick was I say I was gonna put it in the intro, but no 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 no. I wanted you guys to see what she like went real viral up over. Yeah, apparently she's getting I don't think she was the pregnant one at all. Okay, I, this chick is super old. All right, she's about my age. We're in the same age range. You know how I can tell, for the most part, not just the hairline, but the smile lines. Because my spy, smile lines aren't even that deep. And this chick has lived a hard life. And I have absolutely no doubt that she's gotten an abortion. She's probably had like a million abortions. Just in this instance, I think she like uh, maybe a cousin, a friend of hers, somebody like that. They went and got a uh, they they're they're pregnant. Congratulations to them. But she's like, oh, can I use your stick right quick? This is going the vir the virality of this is just through the roof. And yeah, I mean, everyone's in there like, oh my goodness, how can you not be empathetic? How can you be so evil? And I'm just sitting here like, hey, I think this is all a complete act. I don't think that she's actually the one who this isn't like this was just a, a prop she was able to come up with and like you know really went hard at it and you want to know another reason why i think she's just completely full of shit hold on conservative sphere <laughs> what conservative sphere <laughs> guys come on Seriously, I don't think this is real by any stretch of the imagination. And it's not that I believe women are the caring and 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 and, and just so angelic uh, spirits and souls that you know the the media would have us believe them to be. It's because, dude, look at the the dress. The dress is really like throwing me off. Eh, he's the Dragon Ball Z, uh, like villain, villain theme, but uh, the dress is throwing me off, and the reason the dress is throwing me off is because it seems as if it's an attempt to make herself seem younger, right? Like, like, like real talk. She, like, you know, she has the the one single, uh, what's the name on? But that that oh my goodness, her face, her face is just why <laughs> is why I don't. What am I gonna do? This is real. I mean, seriously, this chick is old. I mean. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Like, honestly, I'm not even going to bother to look up her TikTok name or anything else like that. But, uh, yeah, she's on the older side. And, you know, if you've had just this whole, um, uh, I guess, contingent of people like, oh, this is evil and this is terrible and all this other stuff. And at face value, it truly is. 
I mean, boys, we talk about it on the channel all the time when it comes to, you know, female nature and how genuinely callous and uncaring it can be. Because if it is real and she went and, and, and went through all of this for the virality of clout and all that other fun shit, then it's like, it, like, hey, it, damn, you know, they're both, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad it ain't my baby, all right? <laughs> like, I'm glad it ain't our baby, uh, ain't our baby. And once again, it's like the, just, like, it, it's the, it's the internetness of it all, you know? It's just like, I don't really think that this bitch is the one who got pregnant, like, by any stretch of the imagination. And honestly, if you were to stroke this chick out, I can't help but feel like she probably got, like, two or three eggs left, if that. So... I don't know if she's currently a mother. I absolutely know nothing of this woman except for she has a tattoo and thusly and she has a very, very old face. So even if she is young, she uh what's her name? She's lived a very, very hard life. Um, <laughs> and honestly, that it her not producing is actually a blessing. Let's be real. Can we keep it a buck, boys? Can we keep it a buck? The, uh, like individuals like this not reproducing i mean like no no thanks thanks appreciate it because that kid wouldn't have a chance in hell in the first place see that's the thing about life right like like look that's where that's where i'm always kind of uh where i find myself in the most curious of positions because i i, I like I care about life, but I also care about quality of life. I, I want, I believe that every kid deserves those parents to look out and protect them and, 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 and guide them until they're at a point where, you know, hey, best of luck going out there and they can go out and be productive members of society as opposed to, you know, what we've, what we've culturally, collectively created where we have all of these different, like, you know what I'm saying, programs and, uh, 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 oh my goodness, strong independence and children who like ha who have zero guidance, you know, like w w who have absolutely nobody looking out for specifically their best interest. And that's, that's, it, 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 it's, uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's rather perplexing. It's one of the few things in life that actually can perplex me because the people who do those programs, right, their, their hearts are always in the right place, but it's not the it's not the solution that we genuinely need when it comes to uh you know being able to create better people and smarter people just as a collective it is it always does boil down to the individual and so i'm um, this is gladly this is an individual her right here someone who i gladly have never stuck my dick in and honestly like never would <laughs> particularly after seeing this like oh wow you just went into the garbage bin real fast but uh, ultimately, you know, like, yeah, I do care about the quality of life that these kids have and the best chance for them to have it is is not at the is not under the guidance of individuals like this, but under the guidance of two parents who are working together to make sure that, hey, our kid, our family, what what our, what our true legacy is, because you have all of these different um arguments going around going around right now about what our legacies and all this other fun stuff but uh yeah what a true legacy is is within your children and what your children can pr bring to the world themselves i genuinely believe that and when we are so comfortable just you know like uh, discarding life and, and and this is from young to old then you end up with people like this who are like oh they don't care what kind of look it is it's just hey it'll go viral because oh my goodness i'm gonna piss off some conservatives some people i don't i don't know or never have met over the life of you know what's supposed to be my progeny boys that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like it toss it a like dislike go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is scaring and youtube and bitch you can like aren't the biggest fans of you boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from from teespring check me out on patreon as well links in the description actually go in the description box and do damage and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments uh yeah this like uh, once again like i said in the beginning of the video uh she it looks super old she tried to young herself up with the uh lack of nails and the uh and the dress that she's wearing but this is like somebody's <laughs> say 42 year old <laughs> like somebody's 42 year old uh, uh wine aunt who's just oh i can go viral over this and uh, like honestly is it, it's it's feminine it, it, it truly is femininity now isn't it
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Until the next one. Jimmy, you're thinking with your dick. I am not thinking with my dick. Yes, you are. No, I just think that Put she's, your a, dick away. she's a emotional, Jim. interesting, caring girl. Jimmy, that's your dick talking.